Today we are going to be talking about the glorious revolution of 1688. This is just the tip of the iceberg, you know. So you should go to other websites if you're looking for a more in-depth explanation. But if you just want a simple three-minute explanation, you should stay over here. Alright, so if you haven't clicked off the video yet, it means you're actually interested. Now, let's see what the Glorious Revolution of 1688 will be about. So, the Glorious Revolution of 1688, wh what was causing it? Well, the new king was James II. He was, uh, he was fairly elected in 1685. Well, not really elected. That's how kings are selected. They're not even elected. They're just picked by the royals. But anyways, James the uh, the second, <coughs> James the second was put into office in the year of 1685. Now he was very popular at first, despite his Catholicism. But the thing is, he did three bad things that led to his downfall. <coughs> so the first thing that led to his downfall was that he didn't he didn't really like the Catholic Church. He actually persecuted the seven bishops, as, and that was seen to, as an insult to the English Church. The second bad thing he did was that he alienated his supporters. He alienated his followers. So he excluded them from votes. He made everything only a, a tiny bit democratic with only the elite being able to vote and the public completely restricted, alienating his supporters and turning them into enemies. And now he had a sack of enemies, but what would be the final thing to take them off? Well, this is a pretty fitting transition. What would be the final thing to take them off? It's not another round of wall hair cutting, but rather was that he gave, uh, he intended to make a Catholic dynasty by giving birth to a new uh, daughter and making her Catholic as well, who foreseeing a Catholic dynasty. This ticked off every single person in England. Well, not every single person, but it's hyperbole, okay? So. Yes, hi. I'm here for six. So. What was the thing? So what was the thing that ticked them off? What did they do after taking off? What was this time bomb that set them off? Well, this time bomb. We're not going to say what happened during the revolution. We're just going to see the outcome. The outcome was that James the second was actually replaced with William the second and James' wife Mary. And then the, there was also a war in Ireland because of this. So finally, that was the glorious revolution, at least a bit of it. That was the cause and what happened, what, what the outcome was. Alright, we will see you next time.